Hey guys, I want to talk today about credit and uh, the ubiquity of credit that I see in the Canadian markets and I expect to see and I imagine is existing in the American markets. Um, if you follow me on YouTube, Steam it, um, you know that I'm uh, a big proponent of economic collapse that is coming uh, because the US dollar is, is in the cornerstone of the global economy and because the US has built its financial position on, uh, on uh, unsustainable debt levels. And worse than that, um, that the, they've let the banks run uh, rampant with uh, fractional reserve lending and uh, derivatives, which are essentially creating money out of nothing. Um, and it's all that hot air is, is filling this balloon, which we call the economy to new highs and new highs, which is why we see stock markets doing so well and, and, and why not, but uh, absolutely that's a bubble that's going to pop. So um, that's my opinion generally, but what am I talking about today with respect to credit? Well, I've just been thinking and noticing, you know, I got, I got a letter in the mail the other day, just yesterday, <clears throat> for a free, uh, you know, a new credit card. It's just a, it's a, it's, there's no, it's not even directed to me personally. They just carpet bomb these letters to communities hoping to find one or two new people or maybe lots of new people that want free credit, want new credit cards. Um, unsolicited letters like that indicate to me a desperation on the part of MasterCard who that was coming from. Um, and that was actually a Capital One MasterCard. And so Capital One is desperate for new clients because they want to have um, accounts with people which they can um, wrap into derivatives that will that can then be sold um, um, like used to happen in 2008 with housing and is currently happening in Canada with auto loans. Auto loans is another one. Um, constantly I see in Canada 0% financing for 7-8 years um, and uh, the, the terms on those loans are getting longer and longer. When I was young it was, it was rare to see 48 months at 0%. In fact, it was, I didn't see that, and then I suddenly did, and then 60 months, and then 72 months, and then 84 months, and I recently saw 96 months. Um, and then you look at all the payday loan places in your neighborhood, and I'm sure, just like my neighborhood, you see payday loan places every, every, at every corner, especially the impoverished neighborhoods. They're like Starbucks. Um, you, you can see one on this corner and one directly kitty corner across the street. <clears throat> what does that all mean? There's free and easy access to credit because banks that are underlining, that are underwriting these loans want to have access, they want borrowers, which they can wrap up in derivative packages and then sell. Um, this is dangerous, it's terrifying. It's part of the reason why this bubble is so precarious and why I believe the economy of the US and the global economy will collapse in the next one to five years. It's part of why I stack silver, physical silver, not paper silver, because I believe that silver is a hedge against uh, global collapse in that it's always been a safe haven. Um, it's been abused as a store of value. It's been used as money. It's sound money because it is divisible, durable, fungible, resistant to counterfeit, and portable. And those are the qualities of good money. And so I stack silver, um, I prepare in the forms of food, I store food and water uh, because I believe that uh, really, you know, if there were a global collapse of the economy, that shipping lanes would, sh would shut down and that uh, uh, that would result in your local Walmart having not having the, the resources that you're going to need. And so I try to prepare so that I won't be one of those people that are rushing out seeking desperate um, um, desperately needed uh, food and water at a time when uh, there really isn't any to access. And so this is all wrapped up in my mind as one concept of uh, the global co collapse that's, that's coming and the, the, the precarity that I see in that in this system um, due to easy credit. And I, and I just wonder, I put it to you guys, like, do you see this too? Do you see these uh, payday loans every, on every single corner of every single street? Do you see 0% financing reaching new highs on auto loans? Do you see, um, you know, for, do you know friends that have multiple mortgages on multiple homes? 
do you know people who are uh, house poor because they they reached overextended on on the, their finances to get that big new home which is guaranteed to go up these are all indicators in my mind that the collapse is coming and uh, that's again why i'm on a journey to a thousand ounces follow me here and on steamit.com to follow me through that journey on both these platforms i will talk about my finance my family and my faith and i'd love to have you on that journey please like and subscribe have an awesome day god bless you